Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, before we talk about the um, the black hole um, audio driver, um, I, I want to talk a little bit about Soundflower, which was the most popular audio driver to use if you needed to record some uh, from many different inputs and outputs together, um, because it's really hard to do with the default uh, applications within Mac OS. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of stopped development within 2014. It was passed over to, looks like, Rogue Amoeba, where somebody else picked it up as well. Now, if you actually go to the GitHub link to download it, unfortunately, it's not even an application. You have to compile it yourself in your operating system of choice. So, obviously, it's, it's very hard to use. Um, so, they do have their option to use, which is... Um, um, like I said, black hole, black hole virtual audio driver. This is version 0.2, and uh, this allows you audio driver allows you to use multiple applications to pass audio to other applications with um, zero additional latency. As you can see up here, some of the features are um, up to 16 uh, audio channels. You can increase that up to 256 by ad simply adding more instances of uh, black hole virtual auto audio driver up to 192 kilohertz sample rate which is almost um, broadcast or um, broadcast quality um, and the best thing about this uh, obviously as well is it works in the most recent version of Mac OS which is Catalina 10.15 um, I'll put the link in there how you can download the uh, driver for yourself so we're going to uh, take a look at it now. Now if you go into, um, I believe this is uh, MIDI uh, uh, audio MIDI setup, that's probably one of the best places to set this up in. Uh, as you can see right here, black hole. And then you got your inputs, outputs, and up to your 16 channels. And you can down here just add more instances. And then simply select black hole for which channel that uh, you're going to add. So any application that uses audio um, you'll be able to use the uh, black hole driver to route it to and just to show you here I uh, brought up um, OBS studio we'll go into settings real quick just to show you the auto section and then right here you uh, you, you can select black hole for uh, um, for your audio driver and uh, we'll just close that out right here. Now, also you can uh, access this from system preferences. You don't have a whole lot of options if you do it that way. But as you can see, you have black hole down here you can use for your audio driver. And um, also if you use the uh, volume control in your menu bar, um, you also have a selection to use black hole as well from there. So um, this basically works the, exactly the same way as Soundflower, since it's not act, actively being developed, or it, uh, it might be developed, I'm not sure, but it, it's kind of hard to install since you have to compile it yourself. Um, so uh, if you need something similar to Soundflower, check it out. Uh, and like I said, I'll provide the links down in the, uh, uh, the doobly-doo, I guess you call it, and it even has a little bit of uh, how we'd use to record different audio applications, how to set it up. So uh, I, I seen this and I thought it was very great for people like me who use reroute audio, um, have, now have a choice. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys